Ladies and gentlemen, this is an article that came out in the Baltimore Sun, November 11th, 2017. Cocaine-related overdose deaths up in Maryland. Victims had also used opioids. Among all the drug and alcohol overdose deaths reported recently by Maryland health officials for the first half of the year, there were 325 deaths linked to cocaine. To be sure, opioids, particularly heroin in its more powerful synthetic relative, fentanyl, kill far more people, and alcohol is still a big killer. But cocaine, an old foe of drug treatment professionals, remain a problem despite diminished attention from the media and policymakers. The deaths mean that 27.7% of people who've died of an overdose in the state between January and June had cocaine in their system according to the latest data available. Deaths are up from 207 during the same period in 2016 and 104 in the first half of 2015. That's more than three times the deaths in three years. The lab results show that cocaine is linked heavily to the opioid plague, as most of who fatally overdose also tested positive for opioids, including heroin, fentanyl, and prescription painkillers. Among those who fatally overdosed on cocaine, 276, or about 85% also had opioids in their system. Cocaine is considered an upper enhancing activity in central and peripheral nervous system and opioids are downers, suppressing respiration. Injecting cocaine and heroin together is known as a speedball and was popular in the 70s and 80s, said Dr. Michael Fingerhood, who treats substance use disorder at St. John Hopkins Bayview Medical Center and is an associate professor of medicine and public health at John Hopkins University. He said cocaine use never really ended, particularly in Baltimore, but its purity improved. Powder cocaine was more likely to be snorted than injected and less likely to be cut with anything. Crack cocaine would be smoked. He called the return of the speedball mix pretty scary. One explanation for its resurgent, Fingerhood said, may be that as opioid use grew into a plague in Maryland and nationally, it began killing record numbers of people. Users accepted the false premise that cocaine would somehow prevent an overdose by stopping the opioids from suppressing breathing. Wow, these users are pretty dumb. <laughs> cocaine does not stop opioid overdoses, he said. Others also may be told perhaps by dealers or even other users that the mix would give them the best of both worlds. A good high without drowsiness. Some people just may not know what is in the powder they buy on a street corner. Finger Hood believes that the opioids that is almost responsible for the deaths among people who mix opioids with cocaine. Heroin increasingly is being replaced by dealers with cheaper and far more powerful fentanyl, often unbest un notes to users. Yeah, because you know what? A lot of times these dealers are not telling the users that the heroin or marijuana, whatever they're purchasing, has fentanyl in it. They rarely tell the users that it's there. 
that's a big reason opioids are now a big killer in Baltimore City than murders. That said, cocaine alone does kill people, particularly those who have underlying health issues, such as heart disease, he said. Countering the bad information and bad drugs won't be simple fingerhood and others say. In evaluating the second quarter data from the Maryland Department of Health, it is clear that fentanyl is being mixed in with other illicit drugs, including cocaine, said Clay Stamp, executive director of the state's Opioid Operational Command Center. This set up a very dangerous situation. Users cannot be sure what exactly is in the drugs they are taking. So there you go. So there is a rise in cocaine related deaths because in many cases, the cocaine has fentanyl in it. But tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen, please leave your comment and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you will know when my next videos are posted. Peace, family.